So welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the production carnival. I think so. My voice is crystal and clear and penetrating to your heart. And we are in the session of champion series. And we have very scintillating topic with us today. Right now, right here in the name of the topic is metal forming and sheet metal operation. I hope so. You are alive and kicking and excited to undergo this particular session. So I'll just ask you that uh, if you're present, then mark your presence by liking and just comment so that we can have heart to heart connection. And we'll start the same session with the same energy, same zeal and same fundamental. So can you comment something so that we'll have uh, interaction? We'll have a connection heart to heart everyone. So that we'll get to know that okay, what students who are present and we can kickstart our session immediately. And we have uh, two topics. So that's why this session might be lengthy. So be ready for that. I think so your stomach is filled with the, a lot of energy, right? So is there anyone uh, known faces so that we'll start the session so that I'll get idea? Yes, Vishal. Hi, Vishal, everyone. Hi, Vishal. Good evening. How are you all? Kya chal hai? Superb, superb, superb. Yes, Kiran, Kiran Kumar. How are you? Champion man. Good, good to see you. Good to see you back. Pleased to see you back. Right. Anyone else want to comment? Don't hide yourself behind the bars. Come forward. Right, superb. So uh, let's begin because I value your time. It's very important to value time because uh, whoever is joining, they should get something and very valuable from this session. So once again, I welcome you all. This is Ravindra Thubey, faculty at Baiju's exam prep. I secured all India rank 79 in gate examination 2010. And uh, it's almost a decade back, completed my MTech from IIT Kharagpur. I'm alumni of IIT Kharagpur, taking a pride of that and mentored more than 50,000 students, I hope so. And many more students are in IITs, ISCs and working in MNCs right now. So let's begin with the first topic. That is metal forming and sheet metal operation. Questions will be in the mixed manner and we'll solve in a basic fundamental manner. So uh, ready to go? Yes. Let's start now everybody. So let's read the question. Very simple question. A bar is compressed, a cylindrical bar. Bar, which bar? I'm talking cylindrical bar, not that which is coming to your mind, right? A bar is compressed to half to its original length. The magnitude of the true strain produced in the deformed bar is how much is the magnitude and point to be understand here. We have to calculate what magnitude magnitude. There is one bar. Can I say that there is a bar? This is the bar and I will say that the bar of length L. Let's say that this is a length of the bar L. It is compressed to half of the length. So I can say that this is the original length. It is compressed to half of that. So I'll say L by 2 and calculate the strain. How to calculate strain? We know that strain is exactly equal to epsilon ln final length divided by original length. Final length divided by original length. Kiran Kumar, super answer. Final length. What is the final length, sir? Final length is L naught by 2 because it is compressed to half of the value divided by original length. That is what L naught which is there. And we don't require to give the values there, right? Fine. So therefore, epsilon is coming minus 0 0.693. How much it is? Minus is coming. Because why minus? Because dimension is reducing. Compression. And that's where negative strain will come in the picture. And what negative strain indicates? Negative strain indicates dimension must have reduced. Positive strain indicates the dimension must have increased. Is it true? Yes. But sir, answer was ask magnitude. Magnitude ask. And that's why can I say that it is 0 0.693. Don't put minus there. If I put a minus, we'll go in a minus direction. Is it true? Yes, I use positive sign. No issues. Okay, good. 0 0.693, I think so everybody's calculated, right? Done and dusted story with this. Shall we go to the next question? You should be ready with calculator, paint, paper and most importantly YZ. Right, go ahead. Next question. Superb. A true stress, true strain curve is given by the equation sigma is equal to 1400, 1400 into epsilon raised to 0.33 where the stress is in megapascal and the true stress at maximum load is. How much is the true stress at maximum load? How much is what? True stress at a maximum load. Sir, we know that at a maximum load, there is a one condition is valid. And what is that condition? Instability condition is valid at a maximum load. So at a maximum load, instability condition valid. At the same point, there is a necking takes place. At the same point, load is maximum there. So can I say that, sir? Can I say that? Can I say that at that point, epsilon is exactly equal to small n. And it is proved. It is what? Proved. How it is proved? Let's say that instability in tension. There is one formula. With the help of that, there is a derivation. And it is proved that at a neck side, at a maximum load, 
at a maximum load at an x side the epsilon that is true strain epsilon is exactly equal to strain hard done exponent small n and that is what derivation is given i hope you understand that right fine so we are interested to calculate sigma value what is that sigma is equal to 1400 into epsilon raised to 0.3 this is the strain hardening equation what is the strain hardening equation 971 kiran superb what is that sigma is equal to k into epsilon raised to n so from here i know that sir k value is 1400 k value is how much 1400 as well as small n value is exactly equal to 0.33 small n value is what 0.33 0.33. So at the maximum load, epsilon is equal to small load. We are interested to calculate sigma value stress at that point. So I'll just simply put epsilon is equal to small n is equal to 0.33, 0.33, and therefore I'll say that stress is equal to 1400 into into what 0.33 raised to 0.33. Answer will come sigma is equal to 971 or 72 MPa mega Pascal. Mega Pascal Newton per millimeter square. Kiran Kumar, yes, super answer. Is there any Kiran Kumar who is only calculating answer? Rest of the students must be aware of that. Nine seventy one. What is answer? A is answer for me, right? Basic fundamental numerical, right? Yes, formula is what given, but it is derived in stability in tension, right? Very useful formula, right? Next question. Are you ready, everybody? Yes. A annealed copper wire. There is one copper wire of 25 mm diameter is drawn into a wire of 5 mm diameter. What 5 mm diameter? The average stress in this operation, if the flow curve of the material is given, sigma is equal to 315 into epsilon raised to 0.54 mega Pascal. So we have to calculate average. We have to calculate what average stress. Average stress or average yield stress, or it can be called as what? Average stress or average yield stress. Can I able to calculate average stress and average yield stress? Most of the students are committing mistake here. Average stress and average yield stress. Are we able to calculate this? Phi ninety two, phi ninety two A is answer. Someone is serving phi ninety two. I don't know what is answer. Sir, it is nothing but what average value of a stress. It's not a stress. We know that what is average stress? Average stress, average flow stress, average yield stress is equal to K into epsilon raised to n. K into epsilon raised to n divided by n plus one. This is average, average value of a stress. K into epsilon raised to n divided by n plus one. That's the average value of stress. And therefore, I require K value, sir. All the values are there. Don't panic, sir. Strain hardening equation is given sigma. Three one five into epsilon raised to point fifty four. So from here I require value of k. I require a small n. So what is the k value? So if I compare this equation, sigma is equal to k into epsilon raised to n. So can I say k value will exactly equal to three one five mega Pascal? Is it any problem in k value? Yes sir. No. Then small n value is exactly equal to zero point fifty four by comparing both these two equations. Okay, superb. Now we require strain value. When the strain we have to calculate, there is one copper wire of diameter 25 millimeter. It is reduced from that diameter to 5 millimeter diameter. So if the diameter is reduced from 25 to 5 millimeter, can I able to calculate the true strain in that case? Yes, sir. So true strain in that case can be calculated. Sir, I'll write down here. Epsilon is equal to ln a naught by a1. A naught by a1 is nothing but what d naught by d1 whole square. Because I know that how the formula is calculated. What is the formula? We know that epsilon is equal to ln l1 by l0, right? L1 by l0 because material is incompressible. Volumetric changes are zero. Volumetric changes are zero. So we can compare volume a0 into l0 is equal to a1 into l1. So from here we can write down l1 by l0 is equal to a0 by a1. A naught is original cross section area. A one is final cross section area. But now area I don't know. Diameter I know. So if cylindrical body is there, what is the area? Pi by four into d naught square divided by pi by four into d one square. So this pi by four, pi by four will get cancelled. If the pi by four, pi by four is getting cancelled, my true strain is coming. Ln d naught divided by d one whole square. That is what done in the state story, sir. I have learned metal forming and SM in offline from you. Super Pratik, super. You must have understood now this. D not by D one whole square. So, ah, boy, yeah, laga yaha pe, sir. D not by D one. What is the original diameter? 
25 then it is reduced to 5 millimeter then square you will get epsilon value and you put it everything k you put it in this value epsilon you put it in value small n value plus 1 most of the student do you know that what they calculate they calculate flow stress stress that we calculate sigma is equal to 315 epsilon is to 0 0.54 and they put value of strain in there but what is asked into problem average value of stress and that is y bar f k into epsilon is strain divided by n plus 1 and now I'll say that Y bar F you must have calculated that is 384 MPA. 384 MPA. Is it accepted everybody? This is fundamental boss. You cannot say 592 is answer. It's wrong. Average means average. Go to the Kalpak Jain and read that. Go to the Kalpak Jain, read that. You'll understand that. I'm not denying fact. I don't speak lie. Right? Fine. Is it okay? Everybody? Superb answer eh? 384? 384 answer yes 384 is answer fundamental question okay done understood next question next question very beautiful question if you solve that I'll I'll be so pleased to that an annealed copper wire sorry a true stress at a fracture of a tensile tested specimen having an initial diameter of 13 millimeter there is a tensile testing is done on the body and the initial diameter is 13 millimeter and that the true stress at the fracture is 700 MPa. If the diameter of the specimen at the fracture is 10 mm, then the engineering stress at the fracture, true stress is given, original diameter given, fracture diameter given of the specimen, and then ask engineering stress. Do I know the relation between engineering stress and that true stress? Yes, sir, I know that. Calculate mean flow stress and that particular uh, same thing. Right, fine. Superb, superb. Calculate answer here. Calculate answer and tell me that. Everybody, go and sink in. Go and sink in and tell me what is answer is coming. Sir, I know one formula. What is the formula? Sir, the relation between the true stress and the engineering stress. True stress sigma is exactly equal to engineering stress S into 1 plus E. Now, everybody understand that. When I was a child, I, I knew this formula. And when you were also a child, you understand that. E is nothing but true strain, S is nothing but engineering stress and sigma is nothing but true stress. So I have to put the value to calculate what it was asked to calculate engineering stress. So this S value we have to calculate. What we have to calculate? S value. And sigma value at fracture. At fracture. How much it is given? Sir, fracture stress is 700 MPa. Right. Original diameter D0 is exactly equal to 13 millimeter. And the final diameter DF is exactly equal to, or you can say that it's a fracture diameter is exactly equal to 10 millimeter. Fracture diameter is what? 10 millimeter is a fracture diameter. 10 millimeter is what? Fracture diameter. So, sir, I have to put a value. But if the diameter original and fracture is given, can I able to calculate the engineering strain? So, engineering strain is change in length divided by original length. I can't. But, sir, just hold it on. So, I'll write down sigma is equal to S into 1 plus E. Just put the formula there, sigma is equal to S into 1 plus change in length delta L divided by original length. Is it true everybody? Yes, change in length delta L divided by original length. Original length say, yaha pe multiply kar do. So I'll say that original length plus change in length delta L, change in length delta L divided by L naught. Divided by what? L naught. Are you accepting? Sumit Dande, you are great teacher. Thank you man, thank you. Superb, superb. Sir, sigma is equal to S into, S into what? Tell me that original length plus change in length. Can I say original length plus change in length is nothing but final length? So final length LF divided by L naught. Is it true? Yes. Now, can I compare volume, boss? Can I compare volume? Just now we have compared volume, sir. Just now we have did the same thing now. Again, you don't require that A naught into L naught is equal to A1 into L1. So can I say that that formula can be replaced by a0 by A1, this can be considered as A0 and this will be considered as A1. So this L1 by L0 will be replaced by A0 by A1. Or it can be also replaced by what? D0 square by D1 square. So sigma is equal to S into D0 by D1 whole square. So now you put the value, sigma stress, how much it is? 700 MPa. So I'll put it here, 700 MPa. S value we have to calculate. calculate. Original diameter is 13. Final diameter is what? Fracture diameter is what? 10. So I'll say 13 divided by 10. It is whole square. S value is coming. So how much is coming S value? You tell me that. Is there anyone calculated S value? I'm damn sure that you must have calculated. Fracture stress. Fracture stress. Anyone calculated fracture stress? 459.09. 459 
Kiran Kumar, I think so. You made a mistake somewhere. Rest of the story. Oh, got. Got my man. Got my man. Correct. 414.20. 414.20. 414 MPA. Is it accepted? 414.20 MPA. 414.20. Mega Pascal. Mega Pascal. Is it okay? Is it okay, Pratik? Kiran, Pratik, Surya. Superb, superb. Are you understanding fundamental that I spoke here? Are you understanding that? Yes. That's the important story. Right? What is it if nothing is given? You have to mold that into that direction. You have to mold that into direction. Pratik Nikam, superb. Are you Maharashtrian? Kasa kai bhava? Okay ka? Yes, 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 yes. Next question. Dekho, kitna beautiful question hai. Dekhne se pyar ho raha is question se. Right? I fall in love with this question. What is that? A metallic rod of a diameter D0 is subjected to the tensile test. Engineering stress and the true stress at a fracture at 800 and 900 MPa respectively. The ratio of the rod diameter at a fracture D up to the initial diameter D0 is we are interested to calculate final fracture diameter D up divided by D0. Am I interested to calculate individual values? No, I'm interested to calculate ratio DF by D0, fracture diameter to the original diameter. So, sir, very interesting data is given. Sir, here given the engineering stress and true stress at a fracture. So, I'll say engineering stress at fracture is 800 MPa, right? And true stress at a fracture sigma is exactly equal to 900 MPa. Is it true? Yes, 900 MPa, right? Original diameter is D0 and final diameter is exactly equal to df. So if I want to calculate the ratio of df by d0, you ask yourself, there are two values given, that is engineering stress, engineering stress and true stress. Do I know the relation between them? If I know the relation, I'll somehow reach to that final destination of df by d0. How to tackle this? That answer is wrong, Kiran, I think, so point 88. You please check it yourself. Ho gaya, sir. Superb, Dande. Super, Sumit. Kya baat hai? Love you. So I'll say that, sir. Sigma is equal to S into 1 plus E. Do I know the formula? Yes. S into 1 plus E. Isn't it formula? Yes. Now, here 1 plus E hai. Can I replace that by D naught by D1 square? D naught by D1 square just now we have discussed. Yes, sir. Replace it. Sigma is equal to S into D naught by DF whole square. Baba. Sigma and S value is there. So, can I say that it will be Sigma by S is equal to D naught by df whole square. So take a root of that now. D naught by df is equal to sigma. What is sigma? Sigma is 900. Put it there, 900 divided by s. What is s? s is 800. So put it there, 800. You take a root of that. So power 1 by 2. Now you take inverse of that after calculation because df by d naught we have to calculate. So I'll say df by d naught. df by d naught. Kitna are df by d naught? How much it is coming? Surya, Surya, I think you made a mistake. Kiran, now you got the point. 0 0.9433. 0 0.9433. 0 0.9433. MashaAllah. Superb. That's the answer we want. That is what is called as fundamental. And that's what we want to learn here. Aag laga do yahan pe. Matlab yahan pe mat lagao. Exam me laga do. All India rank everywhere. All the rankers, all the rankers that we want. Yes, Surya. Yes, yes, yes. Superb, superb. Utkarsh. Great going. Next question. Next question. Next question is waiting for you all. The thickness of the plate is reduced. Thickness of the plate is reduced from 30 to 10 mm by successive cold rolling passes using identical rolls of a diameter 600 mm. Right, fine. Assume that there is no change in the width. There is no change. Anyway, we consider that the width remain constant. Okay. If the coefficient of friction between the rolls and the workpiece is 0.1, the minimum number of passes required. How many number of passes required in the rolling operation? Initial thickness 30, final thickness 10. It cannot be passed, reduced in one pass. That's why required number of passes. How to calculate number of passes? Can anybody tell me? So Delhi D. Oh my God. Kiran, superb, superb Kiran. Love you. Rest of the students. Sumit, Surya, Reddy, come on. Sir, I know that. It's very simple. What is data is given? You tell me that first of all. Sir, original thickness H0 is 30 millimeter. Okay, great. 
then sir final thickness hf is exactly equal to 10 mm right fine the diameter of cylindrical roller is 600 mm right and the coefficient of friction mu value is exactly equal to 0 0.1 now, sir, if I want to reduce the diameter from 30 to 10, so how much is total reduction required? Total reduction is nothing but called as delta H, that is H0 minus H final is called as total reduction in the rolling operation we require. Total reduction in what? Rolling operation. So we can say delta H is exactly equal to H0. So can I say H0 is 30 minus HF, that is final. Final is how much? 10. So that is total reduction required is 20 millimeter. Total reduction required is what? 20 millimeter. But is it possible to reduce that 20 millimeter in one pass? That depends upon friction and the roller radius. That is nothing but we have to calculate what? We have to calculate, we have to calculate what? Delta H max. That is maximum reduction possible in a rolling operation. That is exactly equal to what? Mu square into R. So first of all, we have to consider mu square into R. How much is the maximum reduction possible? So that's why it is a friction 0.1 square multiplied by radius that is 300 and delta H max, if we calculate, how much it is coming? Somewhat value is coming, I don't know. Then if that is the value of delta H max, so I'll say that, sir, number of passes required is delta H divided by delta H max. Are you accepting? Yes. Are you accepting? Yes. Total reduction required divided by maximum reduction possible in one pass. Right? So therefore, I'll say that delta H, 20, divided by delta H max. Kitna are delta H max? Delta H max that is 0 0.1 square multiplied by 300. So how many number of passes? Sir, n value is coming exactly equal to 0 0.942. That is number of passes. No, 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 not 0. Point. How much it is? 0. 6.666. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 0. Point, sorry, 6.66. So number of passes should be on the higher side. 7 number of passes required. 7 number of passes required. It should be on the higher side. Is it okay? Yes, bang on, bang on fundamentals, bang on fundamentals, is it true? Yes, seven number of passes required, so this would be my answer, this would be my answer, seven would be my answer. Is it okay everyone? Is it okay everyone? Metal forming and sheet metal operation, solid fundamental hai, right? Okay, next question, next question, beautiful, in a single pass rolling operation, a 200 mm wide metallic strip is rolled from a thickness of 10 mm to 6 mm. The roll radius is 100 mm and it rotates at 200 mm. There is a cylindrical roller, right? Fine. The roll strip contact length is a function of roll radius and initial and final thickness of the strip. If the average flow stress in a plane strain of the material, average flow stress in a plane strain condition of the material between the roll gap is a 500 MPa. The roll separating force RSF, roll separating force in a kilonewton is how much? How much will be a roll separating force would be there? How much would be a roll separating force? Tell me, tell me. What will be the answer? Roll separating force. 2 mega newton. In the kilo newton, how much it is coming? Tell me, kilo newton. Superb Kiran Kumar. Mega newton, nahi, kilo newton me pucha hai. It was asked kilo newton. So I have to calculate in kilo newton. Right. Kilo newton me, you have to calculate. In what? Kilo newton, you have to calculate. Sir, it is very simple. What is that? In a single pass ruling operation, width of the metallic strip. Kya hai width bhaiya? Width of the metallic strip is exactly equal to 200 millimeter wide metallic strip. Right frame. It is rolled from a thickness of H0. What is thickness H0? 10 millimeter to a final thickness H1 of a 6 millimeter in a single pass rolling operation with the roll radius R is equal to 100 millimeter. And it rotates with the RPM. The cylindrical roller rotates with the RPM what? 200 RPM. Right fine. And average flow stress average flow stress in a what? Plane strain condition. So I'll say that Y bar F dash, plane strain condition, average flow stress 500 MPa is given. Calculate roll separating force. That is the action force. So roll separating force, it is nothing but the rolling force. So can I say that rolling force, we know that. How much is rolling force? Rolling force or RSF is exactly equal to the average flow stress in a plane strain condition multiply by projected area where it is being applied. And that is nothing but W into L, width into length, width into length. So RSF, we know that. So it is 500 
multiply by width. Width is what? 200, right? 200. Multiply by length. What is the length of the deformation zone? Length of the deformation zone is square root of R into delta H. Square root of R into delta H. Square root of R into what? Delta H. How much is a radius? How much is radius? Do you know that? How much is radius? Sir, radius is given just now 100 mm. And what is delta H? Delta H is 10 minus 6. So I'll say that radius is 100 and delta H is exactly equal to a 10 minus 6 that is 4 millimeter. Then you will get the answer roll separating force would be exactly equal to 2000 kilonewton. How much it is coming? Kilonewton. Kilonewton. Superb. Kiran. Kiran. Sandeep Reddy. Now you arrived. Very good. I was waiting for you. Surya. Surya Badao. Surya. What is that answer? Superb. Superb. Our answer are 2000 kilonewton. It will come something like that uh, Newton. I divided by 1000. I would answer 2000 kilonewton. Is it okay? Is it okay, everybody? Yes, 2000 kilonewton. Is it superb? Yes, so this would be my superb answer. This would be my superb answer. Is it okay? Yes, 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 yes. Done, 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 superb. Great, got it, got it, Surya? Yes. Shall we go to the next question? There is one more beautiful question is there. Something fundamental. In the rolling process, the state of the stress of the material undergoing deformation. In the rolling operation, what is the stress of the material? Which is getting deformed plastically between two cylindrical rotating rollers. Pure compression, pure shear. Compression and shear or tension and the shear. Maza agaya Surya? Superb, superb. Got sir, got it, superb. Tell me answer C. Sandeep Reddy kya baat hai? Love you. Most of the student gives me one answer that is pure compression. But which is absolutely wrong. I know that, sir, cylindrical rollers are rotating. And when the cylindrical rollers are rotating, no doubt that they'll apply compressive force. No doubt into it. Okay, fine, sir. Compressive force are applied. So I'll say that, sir, from rollers here, compressive force. From rollers here, compressive force is applied. No doubt into that. But is it like a forging operation? A forging operation? Hai? No, sir. Where rollers are rotating, and when the rollers are rotating, it will drag the metal in the forward direction. So when they are dragging because of friction, can I say that, sir, layers will get dragged. Layers will get dragged. Some layers might be in forward direction. Some layers might be in backward direction. So layers will get what? Slide over each other. When the layers are sliding, when the layers are sliding, what is happening? Shear will also take place. What will take place? Shear also will take place. So along with the compression, material who undergoes deformation in the rolling operation goes through what? Shear also. Goes through what? Shear also. Goes through what? Shear also. So what is the answer? Compression and shear. Compression in what? Shear. So I'll say that, sir, my answer is compression and shear. Compression and shear. Compression and shear. Compression and shear. Is it okay? Shear mechanism will come in picture. Yes, Pratik. Superb. Superb man. You are my student, right? Anyway, anyway, students, dating buddy, you know that's important, right? Fine. Love you all. Right, superb. Go to the next question. In a wire drawing operation, in what wire drawing operation, the diameter of the steel wire is reduced from 10 mm to 8 mm. Diameter of wire is reduced from what? 10 mm to 8 mm. The mean flow stress of the metal is 400 MPa. Average stress, mean flow stress is given. The ideal force required in the drawing operation. Ignore friction. Ignore redundant work. Ignore friction. Ignore redundant work. Calculate the ideal force. Ideal force. Tell me ideal force. Prati, Kiran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kumar. Kameshwar Kumar. Superb Kameshwar Kumar. Sandeep Reddy. Surya. Yes, Kiran. Everybody. Just calculate and tell me what is the answer. Dan se dekho, padho, and then calculate answer. Sir, ye dekho, kya hai? What is it? Sir, there is one diameter of a rod is given. Let's say that diameter is 10 millimeter. Right, fine. And it is reduced to a final diameter DF, or it can be considered as D1, is equal to 8 millimeter. So this is my wide drawing operation. So we are pulling the rod through the funnel shape of die and then it is reduced from what? 10 millimeter to 8 millimeter. Rupa, superb. Now, Pratik, you have got Correct answer. Now the mean flow stress or average flow stress, so Y bar F, I have just given a notation Y bar F. Doesn't mean that whatever notation you want, you can give that. Sigma bar F, I given Y bar F, no issues. Y bar F, average flow stress is a 400 mega Pascal. 400 mega Pascal. You tell me that, how much exactly equal to the, the ideal, ideal drawing stress. What is the formula for ideal drawing stress? 
आइडियल ड्राइंग स्ट्रेस और आई से आइडियल ड्राइंग स्ट्रेस सर आइडियल ड्राइंग स्ट्रेस इज एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू y बार एज एवरेज फ्लो स्ट्रेस इनटू ln इनटू ln व्हाट a नॉट बाय a1 a नॉट बाय a1 इज इट अंडरस्टूड व्हाट दिस इज एवरेज फ्लो स्ट्रेस और दिस इज आइडियल वाई ड्राइंग स्ट्रेस it is a stress ideal no friction or no redundant work and there is also derivation to this the derivation is given already you go and check it that you go and what check it that derivation kiran kumar and pratik super bombay b bombay b bombay b so now but sir i don't require to calculate stress i required load stress multiply by area is a load so therefore ideal drawing load is exactly equal to y bar f and which area should be considered original or final sir we are pulling the wire so i am applying the force on to the wire diameter final diameter so we have to consider a1 into ln into a0 by a1 so put the value calculate answer average flow stress 400 final cross section area pi by 4 into into what 8 square right fine into ln a0 area pi by 4 pi by 4 directly i'll cancel right fine a0 that is what 10 square a1 that is what 8 square Right, y square is coming. I think so. You are understanding. Your heart is accepting this. Is it true? Yes. So therefore, ideal drawing load. How much is it? Eight point nine seven kilo newton. Eight point nine seven kilo newton. Isn't it? Isn't it eight point nine seven kilo newton? Isn't it eight point nine seven kilo newton? Yes, eight point nine seven kilo newton. If you got that, all India rank one is waiting for you. I am damn sure. A I R One is ours. Kiran, Pratik, Pratik Nikam. Sure mechanism. Okay, fine. Then Sandeep. Sandeep, what happened? You have to calculate. Surya, come here. Here, come here. 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 क्यों डर रहे हो भैया कैलकुलेट करो या सुपर 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 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेटिंग फॉर अस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी डोंट हैव टाइम वी हैव टू बैंग ऑन राइट द पर्पस दैट वी हियर वी हैव टू सॉल्व दैट पर्पस यूजिंग डायरेक्ट एक्सक्लूजन प्रोसेस नाउ वी आर एंटर्ड इनटू एक्सक्लूजन स्लोली स्लोली बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स टू द टू द व्हाट वाइड ड्राइंग देन रोलिंग एंड देन एक्सक्लूजन In using direct extrusion process, around the billet of 100 mm length and 50 mm diameter is extruded. Considering the ideal deformation process, ideal deformation means no friction, no redundant work, where extrusion ratio is 4 and average flow stress of the material is 300 mega pascal. The pressure on the ram will be how much pressure ram will be? How much pressure ram is exerting? Ram will be applying force on pressure plate. Pressure plate is applying force on the billet material. Billet material is getting what? Extruded from given cross section area to required cross section area. That is what extrusion process is. Can somebody calculate? Kiran, Pratik, somebody, everybody, everyone, calculate answer. Calculate answer and tell me what is the answer. If you like the session, press the like button, share and subscribe. share to the students share to the friends student community sir very simple hai extrusion ratio extrusion ratio can i say that extrusion ratio is nothing but called as original cross section area divided by final cross section area that is nothing but called as extrusion ratio that is called as 4 a not by a1 because billet material will be having certain cross section area and that will be passed through the orifice and the opening provided into the die and that will reduce from the given to the required cross section area that ratio is nothing but called as extrusion ratio a not by a1 extrusion ratio a not by a1 extrusion ratio a not by a1 and that is what four value is given right and then average flow stress is also given what is average flow stress sir average flow stress that is nothing but y bar f is given 300 mega pascal and it was given no no friction no redundant work ideal pressure ideal pressure that is pressure in the ram same formula sir ideal extrusion pressure ideal extrusion pressure ideal extrusion pressure how much it is y bar f into ln a not by a1 a not by what a1 kya baat hai surya delhi d delhi d kya hai delhi d 832 kya hai delhi d 832 is it 
let me check whether it is 8.32 or not. I think so you committed mistake somewhere, my dear friend. Somebody calculate the answer now. Sir, up, up ke saamne na, ideal pressure y bar f is equal to. So, ideal extrusion pressure y bar f 300 into ln extrusion ratio directly given. Don't require to give the value of that original cross section area and final cross section area. Goli maro isko. Bhaga do. Not required. Extrusion ratio. You're not by even directly given to you. Superb. Answer is coming, sir. 416. 416.88 megapascal. 416. Point what? Megapascal. This is ideal extrusion pressure. Ideal extrusion pressure. And what will be my answer? This will be my answer. 416. 416. 415. Surya, superb. Kiran, superb. Reddy. Where are you, Reddy? Sandeep Reddy, come on. Are you accepting? Are you are you understanding? Agar hai to like karo. Aisa kuch, kuch sign karo. So that I'll understand. You are also understanding these fundamentals. And these fundamentals, I know that you 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 already aware of that fundamental. Right? Superb, superb, Sumit. Bravo. Superb, superb. Yeah, superb. Rest of the students also. Comment box bardo jara. So that I'll understand what is happening there. So that I'll understand. Right? Okay, superb. Next question. Next question. We are coming now into sheet metal operation. Sheet metal operation we are entering into. Right, fine. So what is it? A blank of 50 mm diameter. Blank of 50 mm diameter is to be shared from a sheet of 4.5 mm thickness. The required radial clearance between the die and the punch is 6% of the sheet thickness. 6% of sheet thickness. Right, Surya, superb. The punch and die diameter for this blanking operation respectively are. So we are interested to calculate punch diameter as well as blanking, or oh sorry, punch diameter uh, for this blanking operation respectively. Punch and die diameter. Diameter of the punch and diameter of the die. Diameter of the punch and diameter of the die. And this is what called as blanking operation. Tell me answer now. You have to tell me answer. Clearance is given. Radial clearance. How much? 6%. Sheet thickness. 2.5 millimeter. Superb. Fundamentals, you know. Blanking operation is there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What is the answer? Kiran, Surya, Sumit, Reddy, Kiran Kumar, Bombay B. Kiran, ek dhyan se dekho. It's a blank. It's a blanking operation. It's a blank. It's a blank. It's a blanking operation. Sir, we know that. We understand one thing. What is that? Sir, in a punching and blanking operation, the diameter of the hole created, the diameter of the hole created in the sheet is controlled by the punch size. And whenever the blank is coming out, the blank is coming out from the die. Can you see that here? The blank is coming out from this die. And because of the elastic recovery, what happens? The blank will get expanded a little bit. And then can I say that it will be controlled by die size? So that literally, blank size is exactly equal to die size and the whole size is exactly equal to punch size, which means that in a punching and blanking operation, whatever it may be, you call it that, the whole size will be controlled by punch size and blank size will be controlled by, blank, blank size controlled by die size. So sir, here, we are interested to produce a blank of 50 millimeter diameter. What is it? Sir, no worries. We are interested to produce a blank. Right? Fine. So it is called as blank size. That is the diameter of the blank. How much it is? 50 millimeter. So it is what operation? Blanking operation is there. What is this operation? Blanking. So we can say that, sir, this is nothing but a blanking operation. So if this is blanking operation, I have to produce a blank of 50 millimeter diameter. That means, can I say die? Die is controlling blank size. So first of all, I have to design my die size should be exactly equal to blank size should be exactly equal to 50 mm. Die size should be exactly equal to blank size should be exactly equal to 50 mm. Die has to be designed. Now, once the die is designed, can I say I have to subtract the clearance to get my punch size. So, die size minus the clearance. And how many times? Two times because it's a peripheral, diametrical component. Clearance is given. Radial. Oh, superb. So, I'll say that punch size is exactly equal to die size minus 2C. How to calculate clearance? How to calculate clearance? Pratik Nikam C. Yes, spot on Pratik. That's the answer I required. Superb. 
तो क्या ने सेड दैट सर हियर क्लीयरेंस सी इज एक्जेक्टली इक्वल टू हाउ मच इट इज 6% 6% परसेंट ऑफ वॉट सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ शीट थिकनेस दैट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ शीट थिकनेस दैट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव सो क्लियरेंस विल कम जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो और हाउ मच इट इज कमिंग जीरो पॉइंट हाउ मच इट इज वॉट एवर इट मे बी कमिंग दैट क्लियरेंस इज बी देर राइट फाइन तो आई से दैट हियर वन साइज इक्वल्स टू डाय साइज दैट इज फिफ्टी माइनस टू इन टू क्लियरेंस सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू पॉइंट फाइव Multiply by 2.5, and therefore I'll say that punch size will come exactly equal to punch size will come what 49.70 mm. 49. Point what 70 mm. Now you tell me that what is the sequence in which it was asked? It was asked punch size. What is the size of the punch? And then what is the size of the die? So punch size will be 49.7, and die size will be what? Die size will be what 50. Die size will be what 50. Is it correct now? Yes. Point one five clearance. Pratik, now you are correct. Surya, now you are correct. And Kiran, now you are correct. This is my answer. Superb, superb answer. Superb answer. Are you accepting? Are you understanding superb answer? Are you accepting and understanding super answer? Yes. I hope so. You are dancing in the tunes, right? Right. Superb, superb. Right. Next question. Next question is there now. Determine the load required. What is the question? Determine the load required to punch a 20 mm diameter hole in a 2 mm thick sheet. So we are interested to produce a hole of 20 mm diameter in a sheet of thickness of 2 mm. The properties of the metal of the sheet are given: tensile strength, yield strength in tension, shear strength, yield strength in the shear. The load in the kilonewton is how much will be the load required? How much will be? That is what. The determine the load in kilonewton required to punch 20 mm diameter hole in 2 mm thick sheet, and these are the properties are given. Now, if I ask you a question, can I know or do 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 you able to calculate? Can we able to calculate the force? Yes, sir. Sir, formula for force is maximum force required for punching and blanking operation is nothing but nothing but what the shear strength, that is ultimate shear strength into shear area, and here circular blank or circular hole that means pi d into t. Intentionally in this problem, what is given? Tensile strength, yield strength in tension, shear strength, yield strength in shear. That is given. But out of that, what we have to use? What we have to use? Pratik and the Kiran. Answer you calculated. I hope so. Your answer is correct. I hope so. Your answer is correct. Let me check. Forty three point nine eight. Superb. Pratik, you made somewhere mistake in calculation. You are pretty close, but not absolute. We read accuracy. We need what accuracy? F max is equal to tau u t into pi d t. Which value you have to use? Shear strength. Shear strength is nothing but what ultimate shear strength. Is it true? Yes. So F max is equal to ultimate shear strength. That is 350 into pi into diameter d. How much it is? 20. And sheet thickness t is 2. And if you calculate that, it is coming 43.98. Correct. 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 98 kilo newton. Typing mistake. Yes. Accepted. No worries. Yes, F max, F max would be this much. F max would be this much. Is it okay? Yes, F max is equal to F max is equal to. This is the super answer. This is what super answer. Is it okay, everyone? Is it okay, everyone? Forty three point nine eight kilo newton. Forty three point nine eight kilo newton. Bang on. Forty three point nine eight kilo newton. Superb. Yes, I hope so. You are understanding this, right? Correct, correct, correct. Pratik Kiran. Surya and rest of the students, right? Rest of the students just don't watch, right? Fine. Next question. Now you have to answer this question. It is a pretty straightforward question. Straightforward formulas and straightforward things are there. The percentage scrap, percentage scrap in the sheet metal blanking operation of a continuous strip of the sheet metal as shown in the figure. So this is figure given. And now we are interested to calculate percentage scrap, and we have to put that value in the decimal there. We have to put that value in the decimal there. Surya, superb, superb. Calculate, karo, batao. Is it okay? The diameter of the hole is created D, and along the periphery there is a margin provided. Margin A provided is D by five, D by five, D by five. We have to calculate percentage scrap. Before calculation of percentage scrap, we have to calculate percentage percentage of utilization. Percentage of utilization. 
So sir, it's very simple that I told you way back. I told you, you you must have attended my lectures in somewhere, or you must have aware that wherever first component is ended, wherever the first blank is ending. So can I say this is the hole? So it is ending here. So you draw a vertical line there, and from there, where the next component is ending, can I say this is the place where next component is ending? That distance is nothing but called as feet distance as by default. Ninety nine times this will happen. Ninety nine times this will happen. This dimension is nothing but called as s dimension, and s here is nothing but called as feed. S is nothing but called as what feed? S is nothing but called as what feed? And now this dimension, this dimension is nothing but called as what? This will be considered as h dimension. That is width of the strip h. And this whatever is, this can be considered as my control area. This is considered as what? Control area. Out of this control area. If I want to calculate percentage utilization or crap, out of that we are producing one blank of diameter D. So now from here, can I able to calculate percentage utilization? So I know that sir, percentage. Anybody calculated answer? Calculate करो भैया. Percentage utilization is exactly equal to how to calculate percentage utilization? Sir, very simple. Area utilized divided by total area. So out of the total area, how much I am utilizing? That is what exactly percentage utilization. So I'll say the area utilize, area utilize divided by divided by what? Divided by total area. Divided by total area. Total area means what? Controlled area. Controlled area. This problem has to be solved by considering controlled area. Right? Fine. Okay. Area utilize. Kitna? One blank in that area. How many blanks? One blank of diameter d. What is the area of that blank? Pi by four. Into d square pi by four into d square divided by divided by what is the total area, sir? That control area. What is that? S multiplied by h. S multiplied by h. So can I able to calculate s? So it's very simple. Diameter plus this is nothing but d by five. D by five plus diameter. So I'll say that. What is it? So I'll say that, sir. S is exactly equal to d by five. Is a margin given plus diameter. D by five diameter plus margin given. Can I say that D by five plus diameter D? What is this? This is D by five and this is diameter D. D by five plus diameter D. And what is H? D by five plus diameter plus D by five. D by five plus diameter plus D by five. Is it okay? Yes. So I'll say that S H is exactly equal to D by five plus diameter plus D by five. So this will become six D by five and this will come what? Seven D by five. Right, fine. So I'll go and put it value there in this area. It is pi by four d square. So I can say that percentage utilization is exactly equal to pi by four into d square. Anyone else calculated answer here? Anyone else calculated answer here? Divided by divided by s into h. That is six d by five into seven d by five. Right, fine. So how much answer is coming here? There is a percentage utilization would come. There is what percentage utilization would come, and how much percentage utilization is coming? If I know the value, it is coming 46.75 percent. If I multiply by 100 also, here pe you multiply by 100 also, you will get percentage. But what is ask? What is ask? Kiran, you made a mistake somewhere. What is ask? It was asked to calculate percentage scrap, not utilization scrap. Agar utilization hua hai 46.75 percent, so how much is the scrap then? So can I say that, sir? It's very simple. Percentage scrap, percentage scrap is exactly equal to 100 minus percentage utilization. So 100 minus percentage utilization, 46.75. So answer would be coming exactly equal to 53.25 percent. 53.25 percent. Garda uda do. Is it correct? Priyanka Gola, superb, superb. Yeah, A S Academy. I was there. I am not allowed to take any names, but love you, love you, Priyanka. Yes, Kiran. Yes. So my answer is coming roughly fifty-three point twenty-five. Yes, Pratik is also appreciating. Yes, yes, love you all, love you all. Get to. Uh, I am so emotional to see you all, my old students. From last one and half year, I'm a little bit of out of circuit because I was recording for somewhere, not in contact. This pandemic has ruined. But uh, again, I'm in the students and again try to help them. So it it feels really great to interact with this. 
Bhavya Shah. Bhavya, now you are coming. Yes, 53.25%. Love you all. Superb, man, superb. Now we are getting answers. That's what we want. 53.25. Get the All India rank now. 53.25%. Superb. Superb. Yeah. Great, great, great. Chalo, aage chalte. Now you tell me that. You should tell me this. Right? Simple question. Which one is not a method of reducing the cutting force to prevent overloading of a press? So whenever we talk about punching and blanking operation, we know that whatever force applied by punch onto the sheet material, same amount of reaction force will be generated. And because of that reaction force, compressive stress is generated and the load will be also very high. Press capacity required is very high. And therefore, we have discussed the methods for reduction of punch force. And what are the methods? By provision of shear. Second, by, by what? Staggering of punches. By combination method. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Yes, the question is, which one is not the method? It is not the method to reduce the cutting force. Tell me that which one is not providing the shear on the die. Yes, sir, I can provide the shear on the die so that area of the shear will get cut in infinitely stages, successive stages. Force will reduce. Okay. Providing shear on punch. Yes, sir. Stepping punches. Stepping punches means what? We are providing what? Staggering of punches. That means the length of the second second punch is reduced by the distance greater than or equal to KT and then only one punch is acting at one time for a shearing operation to take place. So what is the answer? C, Priyanka. Super Priyanka. C is the perfect answer. C is perfect answer. Surya. Superb. Kiran. Superb. Sir, by increasing the clearance, nothing will happen. Punch force will not reduce. Punch load will not reduce. Press capacity will not reduce. So therefore, I'll say that C is perfect answer for me. It is not a method. It is not a method. Kiran, Surya, Pratik, Priyanka, and all the students, Bhavya, superb. Right? Great. Okay, okay. Great, great, great. Next question now. Now, this is the question you have to solve and tell me answer. Koi dikkat nahi, sir. Aram se. Pyar se. Right, fine. The part shown in the figure is to be blank from the steel strip of 2 mm thickness. So there is one part that we have to what? Blank. Blank means what? Blanking operation. So whatever shape given in the figure, that has to be blank. Blanking operation, say, I have to produce it. Assuming the penetration to be 40%. Penetration to be 40%, that means whenever I start penetrating, penetrating, can I say that 40% penetration would be required to reach the value of shear stress to ultimate shear stress. And then fraction will take place. Ultimate shear strength of the material is 145 MPa. Ultimate shear strength is 145 MPa. And the question is, force required for blanking operation would be? Force required for blanking operation. This is F max force. Force required for blanking operation. Tell me answer. Calculate the answer. Everybody calculate the answer. That is what exactly top priority is. Sir, it is very simple. Just now you told me that maximum force in a blanking punching or blanking operation is the ultimate stress, that is shear stress, multiply by shear area. Multiply by shear area. Previously, whichever the question we have solved, for that question, it was a circular blank. And that's why we have considered pi into d is a perimeter, sheet thickness, that is shear area. But now there is a different uh, figure is given, different blank is given. So let it be, can I able to calculate perimeter here? And then multiply by sheet thickness, t is the shear area. So perimeter has to be considered, so if this is 100 and this is 100, so can I say that sir, this dimension would be, there is no rocket science required for me to understand that this will be 20. Can you 20 ho sakta? Absolutely. This would be 20. This is 45 degree, that is nothing but equilateral triangle. If it is equilateral triangle, so that means can I say that this would be also what? This would be also what? 20. Agar ye 20 hai, if it is 20, if it is 20, can I say that this will be 30? Is it 30? Yes, this is 30. But I need a dimension. Which dimension? I need this dimension. Because, can I say that, sir, if I want to consider a perimeter, that means, can I say that my perimeter would be 80. What is that my perimeter would be? 80 plus 50 plus 100 plus 30. And then what is that slanted surface? That length we have to consider. So can I able to calculate that? Yes, sir. This is what exactly, I'll say Pythagoras theorem you apply. If I apply Pythagoras theorem, I'll say that, sir, that L distance, L is exactly equal to root of, root of what? 20 square plus 20 square. And answer is coming 28.28 .28 millimeter here. 
L is coming what? 28.28. L is coming what? 28.28. So how much is the perimeter? Perimeter. Perimeter. That is AT plus 28.28. Right? Plus 30. Plus 100. Plus 50. Is it okay? Yes. That means how much is perimeter? 288.28 millimeter. 288.28 millimeter. 40.351 Pratik ka answer aaya. Somebody else calculate and tell me. And now my answer is very simple. What is that ultimate shear stress? What is that? 145 megapascal. What is the shear area? Perimeter into sheet thickness. What is the perimeter? Perimeter is 288.28. 288.28 multiply by sheet thickness T and sheet thickness is given 2 millimeter. Now you tell me that how much is the maximum force required in the blanking operation. Can I able to calculate? आप कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं कि मैं खुद ही कैलकुलेट करूं 145 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 288.28 मल्टीप्लाई बाय सॉरी 145 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 288.28 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2 एनीवन किरण कुमार प्रियंका एंड प्रतीक आई एम सॉरी बॉस योर ऑल आंसर आर रॉन्ग प्रतीक क्या हो रहा है 145 multiply by 288.28 multiply by sheet thickness T2. Sheet thickness bhi aayega na bhaiya. Perimeter, shear area. Shear area matlab perimeter into sheet thickness T. Perimeter ko multiply karna padega sheet thickness se. So now you correct, correct answer Kiran Kumar. 83. What is it? 83 point. 83.602 kilo newton. Is it kilo newton boss? Is it kilo newton boss? Is it kilonewton boss? Yes, it's a kilonewton. 83.59. Super Priyanka. Got it. Super Priyanka. Good, good, good. Good to catch you all. Right, fine. Kiran Kumar, superb. 83.602 kilonewton. Right, fine. Next question. Right, fine. Next question. This is the ESC 2019 question. Deliberately I have choose so that you will get a flavor of ESC also. Right. And uh, what is exactly question is, let's see that, very simple question. The question is that, what is the force required? What is the force required for 90% bending of a 50 steel of 2 mm thickness in a V die? What is the bending? V die. If the die opening is taken as 8 times, the thickness and the length of the bend part is 1 meter. Length of the bend part is 1 meter. Ultimate tensile strength is 500 megapascal and K is equal to 1.3, 1.33. We are interested to calculate what is the force required for bending? What is the force required for 90 degree bending operation? Ah, Pratik, correct, correct, correct. I got it, I got it. You did not multiply by sheet thickness T. I got it, no worries. Yeah, answer mere kuch piche ja rahe. no worries. You calculate and tell me answer. Now, if I ask you that, sir, what is the formula for force, sir, maximum force required? is exactly equal to exactly equal to ultimate stress into l into t square divided by w divided by w multiply by k right fine now what is this sir sigma ut is nothing but tensile stress or ultimate tensile strength l is nothing but the length of the component length of the bend component or width of the sheet t is nothing but the sheet thickness W is nothing but the width of the die opening. Width of what? Die opening. And sir, all the values are given there. But most of the times we only forget this formula because this formula is always neglected. Always neglected. That is force required in the bending operation. Force required in bending operation. So if you remember that, you'll definitely get. Now it, it came in what? Engineering services. Now there might be chance it will come in what? Gate examination. 166.25. Superb. Kya baat hai? Kiran Kumar, Priyanka, superb. So I'll say F max, I'll put exactly equal to K value that is given here, 1.33, that is die opening factor, right fine. Sigma UT, ultimate stress, 500 megapascal. Length of the, the bended portion is 1 meter. 1 meter means 1000 mm. Sheet thickness is 2 square. And width of the die opening is 8 times sheet thickness T. It was given directly. If you don't trust me, you go and talk it that. If the, if the, the die opening is taken as 8 times the sheet thickness T. So, 8 multiplied by sheet thickness T. So, answer will come 166.25 kilonewton. What is this? 166.25 kilonewton. 
is it okay yes 166.25 that means answer is a is it answer is a yes so this is my answer superb got it my point yes don't neglect it and i told you that in this generation of tiktok you please refrain yourself only to getting something in a very short span of time whatever you get in a short span sudden rise will always have a sudden fall you how to you how to i would say that uh, convert your blood and sweat to get get the rank don't go by the shortcuts and always see that whether you covered all the fundamentals required to solve last 20 years of questions or not if you don't have that you don't get rank as simple as that surya superb a 166.25 kiran superb priyanka superb pratik got got my point got my point yes so you are understanding that right fine now there is one more question is there and that is basically uh, the same question on the same platform still i'll i'll just give you hint about it there is a cylindrical specimen cylindrical specimen of a steel having an original diameter of 12.8 mm in a tensile tested to fracture and and found to have engineering fracture strength of 460 mp if the cross sectional diameter at a fracture is 10.7 mm the true stress at a fracture is sir now this formula and this questions are already covered so many times this question is coming in competitive examination engineering services gate examination and already we know the formula sigma is equal to s into 1 plus e sigma is equal to s into 1 plus e and that will be replaced by sigma is equal to s into what is that d not divided by d1 square right fine so i know that sigma is a true stress how much is true stress we have to calculate engineering stress how much is engineering stress 460 right into original diameter 12.8 divided by fracture 10.7 that has to be what square now i will not give explanation because already we have done and dusted story is it true 658 kya baat hai kya baat hai where were you priyanka i think so you should join my sessions join my telegram channel ravindra thube and message me and tell me that what you are doing now so sigma is exactly equal to what 658.27 mega pascal right fine superb superbly done superbly done kya baat hai i am pleased to listen that so this would be a roughly answer for me this would be a roughly answer for me is it okay everybody this would be a roughly answer for me yes great now you tell me that the maximum possible draft maximum possible draft in a rolling which is the difference between initial and final thickness of the sheet metal depends on maximum possible draft in the rolling operation sir maximum possible draft in the rolling operation is delta h max delta h max is exactly equal to what mu square into r what is it mu square into r maximum reduction possible in the rolling operation is a function of friction and function of radius no other factor because maximum reduction possible mu square into r maximum reduction possible mu square into r right fine so it is a only function of friction and the radius of a roller so therefore i'll i'll tell you that is it depends on rolling force no roll width no yield shear strength are nahi bhaiya which one is there bombay b kiran pratik superb syllabus completed sir present practicing sir superb superb priyanka good to see you so i'll say that this is my answer roll radius is it okay everyone roll radius roll radius so if you like the session you please press the like button as well as as well as what you join my telegram channel and most importantly you download the notes from there also priyanka and all the uh, previous student you'll get a very beautiful notes there of this chapter also so you get these notes and uh, get a beautiful concepts and be be in touch with me next question toothpaste tubes can be produced by now this is done and dusted every uh, morning and the evening uh, we deal with this question what is that toothpaste tubes can be produced by solid forward extrusion or solid backward extrusion or a hollow backward extrusion or hollow forward extrusion tell me tell me what will be the answer tell me now a solid forward extrusion kiran and pratik you are penetrating my heart like a demon it's penetrating it's paining my heart Surya, no, boy, a solid forward extrusion. Solid forward. Forward means metal is moving in the same direction as that of the ram. Solid toothpaste tubes are they solid? It's a tube. It's a tube. Ye dekho, boy, this is my backward extrusion. This is called as impact extrusion. It is backward. Why it is called as backward? 
because when the force is applied, ram is moving in this direction. This is the direction in which my ram is moving. But the material moves in exactly opposite direction. That's why it is called as backward. It's an impact extrusion only. It's an impact extrusion only. But the material is moving in opposite direction of the ram. And Joby component we are manufacturing, it is a hollow. It is what? Hollow component. Isn't it a hollow? It is a hollow component. If it is a hollow, it is called as hollow backward extrusion. It is called as what? Hollow backward extrusion. What is what? Hollow backward extrusion. Priyanka, superb. What is that? Hollow backward, not forward. It is called as hollow backward. Hollow backward, not forward. Hollow backward. Why backward? Why backward? I'll tell you why backward. Listen everybody, here what is happening? The punch is moving in the downward direction. It will come and touch to the material. And then it will try to push the material in a forward direction. Right? Punch ka direction, dekho. punch is moving like that. Punch is moving like that by material is moving in what? Opposite direction. It is moving in what? Opposite direction. Opposite direction it is moving. Opposite direction it is moving. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Yes. And even if you make a mistake, you should not be ashamed of, right? You should do and take a pride of things that you do in life. Please always. If nothing happens in the life to you, don't worry, be a good human being. It's important. Most important thing in the life is that to be a good human being. Accept the mistakes and go in forward direction. Somewhere we'll get a success. No worries. So I'll say that, sir, this is what exactly question is, right? These are the what exactly components, seamless tubes can be manufactured, Pepsi can, toothpaste tubes. So this is what exactly impact extrusion application, right? Fine. Now, in a wire drawing operation, in what wire drawing operation, the maximum reduction per pass for perfectly plastic material in ideal condition. Now, this is a standard question. In a wire drawing operation, how much is the maximum reduction? possible per pass in a perfectly plastic material ideal condition ideal no friction no redundant work ideal plastic yes 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 priyanka superb you prepared notes from you only yes i'll tell you that you join my telegram channel just search it that divanshu yadav divanshu uh, welcome back you just search it now ravindra thube Production and Industrial Engineering by Ravindra Thure or Ravindra Thube, there will be one group, join and go and you will get beautiful notes and you message me, sir, these are the fantabulous notes. I'll, I'll bet you that. Very meticulously designed and dealt with. You will understand that. Pratik, Divanshu, Yadav, 50%, uh, Bombay, B, 60%, kya baat hai? Pratik and this, this is my answer. I'll give you answer, sir. Reduction takes place in the wire drawing operation. Do you remember formula 1 minus e to the power of minus n plus 1? Do you know this formula? Yes, sir. This derivation is already done, right? Reduction takes place is a fraction reduction is 1 minus e to the power of minus n plus 1. n is nothing but what? Strain hardening exponent. It depends on material property, right? Fine. And we know that. What is material? Perfectly plastic material. Perfectly plastic material is what? The, the constant load is required. When the value of stress reaches to stress, material start deforming plastically. There is no increment. There is no strain hardening. No increment in the load. Constant load, and the material keep on deforming, deforming, deforming plastically. And therefore, value of n for this is exactly equal to what? value of n slope of this horizontal line is what zero is what zero if it is zero you put it zero here so r is equal to one minus e to the power of minus one answer will come 63.20 percent that is multi this entire equation will be multiplied by 100 entire equation multiplied by 100 will get 63.20 Which topics have you learned from sir in deep learning? Deep learning, I think so. I taught metal cutting, machining, uh, metal forming, sheet metal operations, NTM, jigs fixture, advanced machining. Right, these topics I dealt with. Now I don't know whether it is there or not. But you join my Telegram channel. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Priyanka, which topics have you learned? Pratik, you are asking him. Right, fine. So tell me that these many questions I had, I think so. You must have enjoyed and blasted uh, at least 25 questions. And uh, it was a superb, I think so, right? Pratik, Priyanka, everybody, you join and, and I'm very pleased. I, I way back, I'm so nostalgic. Uh, I remember that way back in uh, 2000, before pandemic, I was there in the Pune. It's the heart of my city. I, I belongs to Pune. So tomorrow also there is a very scintillating topic is coming. And what is the name of the topic, sir? We are discussing the questions on metrology, entire metrology. That is gauge designing, uh, then met, uh, the surface finish measurement, geometry of the thread, and then the angular measurement, then NTM and jigs fixture, as well as advanced machining, that is NCCNC machines. 
entire topics. So tomorrow also we'll be having at least 30 questions. The session will be by, might be a little bit of lengthy, might be about uh, 90 or 100 minutes, that is one and half hour, but you should come and enjoy the session. If you like, press the like button, share with the students, and then most importantly, take care of yourself. That's the most important. Take care of your mental health. Mental health is the most important to get a success. I hope so. You are, uh, you are, you are understanding. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to teach now industrial engineering also. I have increased my breadth also. I'm going to teach industrial very soon. I don't know which platform right now. But in open platform in YouTube, we are coming with metal forming, uh, coming with some production topics and some industrial topics also. Now it's you student, you join my telegram and you request me or you tell me that, ki what is the topic, which topic you require. And then that topic I'll come and I'll explain to you. That topic, but you should come. The condition is that you should come, then only I'll come. Without you, my existence is zero, right? Yes, this is superb and so interactive sessions. Love you all. I think so. You must have enjoyed, right? Okay, fine. So we'll close the session now. Uh, and God bless everybody. Tomorrow again, you have to switch on, right? Yes. Bulati hai magar jane ka nahi. Focus on fundamentals, right? Okay. Casting and welding. Yeah, yeah, Pratik Nigam. Casting and welding. Yes, yes, plastic and welding is there in my memory. Uh, some previous institute organization student we have seen. Casting and welding will definitely see. It's my promise. I'll not break the promise. So, chalo, see you then tomorrow again on the same platform at 8.30 with three more scintillating topics. And this is the production carnival. I hope so. You are pretty enjoying this series. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy night. Happy learning. Chalo, bye.